Guys, how are you going? Have you ever heard of that saying, you get what you pay for? Well, this is a classic example of that. Okay, this is a, a rental property that, the, um, that they've had a new hot water system installed about a year and a half ago. And the owners called me directly because they've just had a gut full of this thing working intermittently. And he said, can you come out and just have a look? I'm, I'm just tired of it. I just want it sorted. I'm sick of the phone calls. And the lady just had a baby, so she just wants it to work. That's all she wants, just, just it to work. So it's not that hard, okay? So obviously the real estate um, said, okay, we need a new hot water system in. And so there's, you know, they've probably got three quotes from three different plumbers. And the plumber that won the job um, decided that, you know, pro probably the cheapest one to put the Ream um, Pronto 12 in, okay? Now, the normal, normally there's a, there was a storage hot water system here and you can tell that by the slab down here. You, you know, used to, that's used to be the hot water system. Now the storage hot water systems there are usually about 40, 40 megajoules, okay? Now the Pronto has about nine, uh, about 100 megajoules, okay? And 99 to be exact, okay? So it's, it's a fair bit more gas, nearly double, okay? Or over double, I should say. But I'll show underneath that the, you know, the plumbers put the, put the pipe here, so that's, you know, 15 mil pipe going into it, the cold to feed it, the hot, the outlet is 15 mil, and then we've got the 20 mil gas main, and it goes down here, and all the way and then bang straight off into the small pipe so really that should have been enlarged the 20 mil pipe should go all the way really back to the meter okay but the thing is that the meter is on the far side of the house okay i'll show you guys so the gas pipe must go up i don't know if it's in 15 mil i'll go up in the roof in a minute and check and show you so it goes all the way across the house here all the way all the way over the garage here and the meter is on this side okay you can see the meter down here. This is the, the, the 20 mil gas pipe. So I'll, I'll go up in the roof and just see how he's, how he's hooked it up. And, um, and then you can you know, see what I'm saying, but I'm hoping he hasn't hooked onto the, the small 15 mil pipe because you can imagine if the whole house is on that small pipe for the hot plate and the bayonets and everything, anytime you turn into that on, it just starves the gas. You know, so anyway, I'll get up in the roof now and um, check it out. Hey guys, okay, so I'm up in the roof now. Um, I found the gas pipe. I'll just, I'll just show you where it is over here so you can see over there that's the it goes for about three meters or something of, of, of 20 mil okay and then it runs into the smaller pipe over there so it's got the small 15 mil pipe and here's your first t so one of them would be for the uh, you know for the, the hot plate that would go off to the hot plate that one there and then it, would, it runs along here and this one probably goes off to the the bayonet for the the barbecue or the or the room heater there's probably another barbecue on that as well and then this pipe here that goes all the way across right over to the other side of the house where the um you know where the hot water system is okay so that's that's the trouble that um that they got now is that they've got the hot water system doesn't work because the gas pipe is so undersized it's not funny right so it's it's, uh, it's just real disappointing for the owner and um, and also as plumbers that you know um, are quoting these jobs and then other plumbers are coming in and they're a lot cheaper, but that's because they're not playing by the rules. You know we've got all these rules, the gas standards and the Australian standards that we've got to stick to. And if you're not doing that, of course you're going to win the jobs. But now the owners are stuck with this job, so you know the other, now they've got two options. I can either just enlarge this gas pipe 20 20 or so meters all the way to the other side to get that little hot water system up and working. Or maybe I'll have a look at, maybe we could put it near the kitchen sink, which is at a way better location. There'll be less gas pipe because I only have to, you know, go a little bit of the way across. So anyway, we'll, um, I'll give the owner a call and see what he wants to do and I'll let you know. Okay, I've rung the owner. Um, he's got a B16 at his place that I installed about three years ago. Um, he's been stoked with that one. So he just wants the same one on this one. So he just doesn't want any more dramas for this tenant. Um, yeah, so he just doesn't want any more problems. Um, so we are going to shift the hot water system now. We'll shift it to, to a better location. I'll just show you. So the meter box is just here. Okay. Here's the meter box. So I was up in the roof and that was just up, up in there. That's where the three meters of, um, of you know, gas pipe is that we've got to connect onto. Here's the kitchen right here. Okay. It's the kitchen sink. So what we're going to try and do is put the hot water system on the wall here. Okay. And, that, and we'll run the, the hot and cold pipe in there and then under and hook onto the kitchen sink. Now the reason it needs to be near the kitchen sink is if, if, if you've got a new baby and you just want a, um, a washcloth to wipe their face, if you're waiting for that water to come through, so if it's on the other side of the house like it is now, all that wasted water would come through of, of cold water before you get the hot. Okay, and then when, once you've finally got a little bit hot, you turn it off. So if you have it here, you're gonna have water within five seconds where you can wa wash your plate, heat up your, you know, your dookie for your face or for, for your kids or whatever that sort of thing, and then you can turn the water off. Now, okay, it has to, you know, you waste a bit of water going over to the shower and the bath and stuff like that, but with the shower, the water's on, on there for a minimum five minutes. 
So by the time you get your clothes off, the water's going to be hot and you can start using it. Where the kitchen sink, it's on, off, on, off all the time and that's where you'll save a fair bit of money and water by not wasting it. So that's what we're going to do and I'll show you that when we're finished anyway. Get cracking now. G'day guys. Got it all sorted. So we've, um, we found the 20 mil main up in the roof above the garage there. We've cut a nice tee in and we've ran a nice 20 mil main all the way down. You can see it comes down the wall here. This is a 20 mil gas main, goes into the hot water system. And then you've got the 15 um, feed here that goes up in the roof. We've tapped it into the um, 20 mil main in the roof and comes down and goes to the kitchen sink again. And then this is the hot main here that goes down there and straight in. And then there's a T under the kitchen sink. So it goes to the kitchen sink and then from there it goes up to the rest of the house. So they're, they're noticing that right away we, within five seconds they've got hot water. They're loving it. The flow's a lot, a lot better there. It'll be hotter there as well, which is great. And um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're pretty stoked, which is, which is great. Um, so yeah, moral of the story is most of the time you do get what you pay for. And I know there's guys out there that um, are happy with the cheapest thing. You know, they, they get the best best deal, best rate. That's that's cool. But end of the day, it's always going to bite you in the in the bottom. Just in, in, in case kids are, um, are watching there. So if you want some advice on your hot water system, because there's many different uh, many different models out there. Some are really economical, some aren't so much. And so if you want some advice, then please give us a call at Beautiful Plumbing, and we're happy to come out and um, yeah look at your situation and uh, give you some options okay thanks for watching and uh, catch you later